as we record this on what day is it? Thursday. As we record this, yes. the St. Louis Cardinals later today are going to play a game in the Grapefruit League against the Astros at I think it's at Roger Dean Stadium. So what do the Cardinals do? They tweet out in the lineup because that's what a good social team would do. And on the caption, they say because pitcher Kyle Gibson will be taking the ball for the Cardinals today. They say Gibby on the mound at Roger Dean Stadium. And so what does every comment and reply say? There's only one Gibby. There's, there's, this guy's not Gibby. Bob Gibson's the only Gibby. That doesn't look like Bob Gibson. <laughs> Can we get a little perspective, please, Cardinals fans? I get it. Bob Gibson is the greatest. He is the best pitcher in Cardinals history, no doubt. I love me some Bob Gibson. Kyle Gibson is a 36-year-old man who also has the surname Gibson and has gone through his life in baseball. And you know what people have probably called him? Gibby. Because it's his freaking name. So Do you know that? Do you know that for sure? When you go, when you go up to Ollie Marmley, you say, hey, Kyle Gibson, what do you think about? It? Well, with Gibby, it's the, okay. people just call him Gibby. Like it's just No, I get it. I get you know, it. I haven't said, hey, Kyle Gibson, what do you think about the fact that your name is Gibby and the Cardinals had a great player named Gibby? Does that make you feel uncomfortable? This would be a ridiculous thing to ask to a person because it's his name. It's just, it's his name. And so I, I put out there, I said, the crusade where we can't call Kyle Gibson Gibby because we, God bless Bob Gibson. He's the best. But because this team had a guy named Gibson who also went by Gibby, and that's how everybody knows him, is not fair to Kyle Gibson. He's been Gibby his entire life, I imagine. And so this idea that, well, we can't call him. He's on the Cardinals now. you got to change your name, bud. That is, I just don't even know where to begin with that. Well, that was a good rant. And you're fired up. I was so, a little fired up, more so than I should have been. I get where it comes no. from. But you you want to honor Bob Gibson totally. But, like, people were like, well, have you asked him if, he, if it makes him uncomfortable that people call him Gibby now that he's on the Cardinals? I'm like, no, because that would be an unhinged thing to ask a person. I think it would be nice to say, hey, Kyle Gibson, Cardinals obviously had Bob Gibson you guys have the same name. He was great. Do you have any, did you ever meet him? Did you ever, like, you could, you could pull, play that angle. You're not going to go up to a human being and go, Hey man, you know, there was a Gibby here before you. Are you sure? Are you sure you should keep going by Gibby? Isn't that a little disrespectful? That would be absolutely unhinged. So that's okay. That, that's my rant. But hold on. All right. From what I know and what I've seen, Kyle Gibson is just an absolute class individual. So I, I do think, I do think you could ask him about this in a in a fun way. In a fun and he'd way. Give you, and he'd give you a good answer. And he would probably even – he's like, man, dude, I'm I'm a good pitcher, but Bob Gibson was the man. He's he's in the Hall of Fame. And by the way, I'm not trying to do the uh, the first take here thing because I – believe me, I really don't care that much. But I, I'm kind of against you on this one only because Bob Gibson is so legendary. Right. He is Gibby. Unfortunately, he also passed away. I think like we could have more fun with this if Gibby was still alive. Yeah. And and at the end, hey Gibby, is it okay if we call Kyle Gibson Gibby? He's like, yeah, it's fine. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just trying to think. Like, what people if are emotional guy... about about Bob Gibson, and rightfully so, because he's the greatest. Right. right? But, okay. Like, I think it's because his it's his name though. Like, it's if there was another name. guy who came in and said, okay, my nickname's the Wizard, right? That's that's a little different because you you have the wizard here. Like I totally get the argument. This dude has been called Gibby his whole life, Kyle Gibson. But Bob Gibson is just such an icon. How about this? Can we compromise? Can we call Kyle Gibson Gib or Gibber? No, because his name is Gibby. That's what he goes by. Like, and I, you could call him whatever you want. In passing, other people talking about him, it's always Gibby. So that's my context clue of like, okay, people call this guy Gibby. That's just that's what he's probably gone through his whole life in baseball with. And I don't think it's incumbent upon a, a 10 year, you know, 13 year veteran of the league to go, well, I'm on the Cardinals now. I guess I have to change my name. I understand too, though. And people have made the point to me that like on Twitter as a Cardinal fan, it's different than whatever people call him in the clubhouse and in his personal life. Cause I'm not going to meet Bob Gibson or Kyle Gibson. And you know, it, we're not going to have that sort of relation. And I get that, but it's just like, it, the, the wizard thing is a great example. If somebody else waltzed in here and was like, I'm a, I'm a shortstop and I play good defense. So people have called me the wizard in other places. I've been, can y'all call me the wizard? And be like, well, that's never going to happen. That doesn't make any sense. But it's like, Oh, this is the guy's name. Oh, what's your name? Kyle Gibson. Okay. Gibby. It, it's just a natural thing. It's not forced. 
it's not like we're forcing it because it's his name. So that's why I'm like, I don't know what you want the guy to do. Okay. And again, I want everybody to know, I really don't care about this, but I do think it's fun to talk about. It is fun How about to talk this, about. Though? How about this? Because you know how hockey players are. Everything is nicknames, right? Yep. So any Gibson's going to be Gibby, Gibber, whatever it is. How about this? You totally understand why Kyle Gibson's teammates would call him Gibby. Yeah. Is it fair? And by the way, again, this doesn't matter. Should the Cardinals official accounts, though, do it? I think that, you know, is it fair in saying, look, is we understand people are going to call him Gibby, but the Cardinals that are all about history, right. should they not call him Gibby because there's only one Gibby? Is that is that a fair discussion I can, point? I think it's a fair discussion point and a fair question to ask. I don't think I'd come down on the same side of the aisle as you on this. Um, but I can understand the question. But, like, Ollie Marmel is a voice of the team, right? So when he's talking to the media and there's cameras in his face and he's asked about Kyle Gibson and he says, well, Gibby did this, you know, is it all that different? Because he's an official voice of the team too, right? That's yeah. kind of how I – and so, like, that's the person I've heard say it more than anybody is Ollie Marmel over the past three weeks. So I think, you know, I knew this would be the reaction when I saw the tweet. And, like, I, I thought it was fun not because I wanted, like, oh, let's – you know, denigrate Bob Gibson in any way. But I also knew like Cardinals fans are going to have a problem with this. And they, sh to me, they, they, they shouldn't, there's no reason. It's just the guy's name. Um, and like you said, Kyle Gibson, the best dude, he probably would have all the great things to say about Bob Gibson and, and, and very respectful and all that. So I'm like, I don't really think there's a problem here. And it's just, I just, it's his name, you know, yeah. Matt Carpenter is carp, right? Like he's, I get it. There was a Chris Carpenter, but you know what? Everybody calls him Carp or Marp. I, nobody calls him that. And I yeah. like, but back in the day, I was like, oh yeah. Like I'll say my view on this has shifted. Maybe the more I've like, I had a conversation with Matt Carpenter. He said, my shoes were nice. That was good. It's like, I, what I kind think, of shoes. Well, they're, they're like Nike Air Max. They're actually, he goes, are those actually golf shoes? I'm like, yeah, they are. But I got them for Christmas. They're great. They were like a little bit purple. So I think he was like, oh, TCU kind of yeah. maybe that connection. But anyway, like I've, I, I even look back, I was like, I probably have said Marp on Twitter in passing because it's kind of funny, but I think most of the time I'm calling him Carp because that's just his name. And yeah, there's a Chris Carpenter who was, you know, on the Cardinals too, but that, that doesn't mean like, we got to come up with something else to call you. Like, I don't know. It's just his name, you know, like I think it's, I think it's a Twitter thing that I know I'm taking too far. But it also, like you said, is fun to talk about. So I like to kind of mix it up. Okay. And and by the way, I, I do think this is interesting. And and you brought up a, a different point to build off. And by the way, Matt Carpenter, great Cardinal, will yeah. be a Cardinals Hall of Famer. Yeah. Chris Carpenter, even greater Cardinal, Cardinals Hall of Famer. If healthy, Chris Carpenter probably would have been a, a baseball Hall of Famer if things went differently earlier in his career. But I do think there's a different because those guys are great Cardinals, but they're not on the Mount Rushmore. There's the Mount Rushmore of Cardinals, and whoever that is, obviously Stan, Gibby. Then it gets tough because you have you have Lou Brock, Albert, Ozzy. So that's five, and I'm probably missing people. But my point is, Gibby's different, man. Gibby's just different. I'm sorry, Bob Gibson. We've all met him. He was just different, man. Not just on the mound, his presence, his demeanor, the stories. Hundred percent. He's a freaking icon. So, look, I don't usually side with Cardinals Nation on stuff like this, but I kind of side with them on on this. If one. your argument is the official account doing the Gibby thing to because maybe kind of knowing tongue in cheek what it's what's going to happen, and that maybe there's no need for that, I could get behind going. All right, I can see. I don't have an issue with it personally, but if it's like the official arm of the team like you said you you can avoid it simply by just but it's but it's also the guy's name it's a current pitcher that's on your team that you're like hey this is our guy so i can understand your side of it but i did have to rant about it because i thought it was kind of fun i thought it was uh and i also was not sure i didn't tell you ahead of time what we were going to talk about so i thought charlie's probably going to see the other side of this and you do and that's fine but hold on a second to be hold fair on, wait. i hold on i did see your tweet yeah. And right right when you said that, I knew you were going to want to talk about it. Okay. And look, I always say exactly how I feel. Like, 
honestly, on all the podcasts I do, I probably agree with folks too much. Like sometimes it's more interesting for you and I to debate or, or whatever it is. Right. This is one I, I would never do the first take thing where I where I just take the other side just for content. Yeah, you're not I, I faking this, a, this. Right. Right. I think this is a tweener, but I I, I don't really care, folks, everybody, just so you know. But I, I am on the other side of this one from you uh, slightly. You want people to go up to Kyle Gibson and go, hey, K Gib, what are you – Wait, what's up, Gib? Gib K, what's up, brother? How about, uh, how about, how about, okay, how about a compromise? No. How about, no, no, this is good. Okay, I just thought of this. Got it. K Gibby. Here's why. For pitchers, K's strikeouts. Yeah, sure. And it's still Gibby's in there. Yeah. It makes sense. You got anytime, one Gibby and you got K Gibby. Anytime you have to go, how about to like force a nickname upon somebody, it's probably not going to work. But I hey, can Gibby. Get, I can get behind the clubhouse calling him Gibby and the Cardinals official account going, all right, is this worth it? <laughs> it's is this worth what it's going to make people feel? Because we want people to get behind Kyle Gibson and not give him a reason to go, how you know, how dare they call call him Gibby? Because we had a Gibby. I can see it. I can see both sides. It's fun. It's definitely fun. I already know the comments are gonna. I mean, I'm ready for it. The comments are gonna go. This Brendan Schaefer sucks. <laughs> there's there's only one Gibby, Charlie Marlowe for life. But like you said, we gotta be we gotta be honest about what we think about a thing. And and I think we both did that here. So okay. Let's end it like this. What if your son was watching the game and Kyle Gibson was pitching and he pointed to the screen and said, Gibby, Gibby, would you correct him? Yeah, we're gonna have to have a talk about that, obviously. You know, I just I can't allow that in my household. I'm sorry. All right. Let's end on that.